Queensclev and Geelong uh, do share a big part, and I always, as uh, chair of G21, but as mayor of the city of Greater Geelong, uh, with regards to the Ballerine and the city of Greater Geelong, is very, very important and always has been uh, as part of my mandate being voted in on vision, passion and change and the Ballerine Food and Wine Trail and I am a huge passionate person about tourism in our 21st century smart city. And to Greg and Phil, uh, the directors of Bongo Transit, one of the, as he said, it was one of the, uh, uh, the best meetings that I've had all year. It's one of the most exciting and innovative meetings that I, I've had all year, so thanks to them for coming up with this uh, wonderful uh, strategy, wonderful plan. Um, and uh, the only thing is, is it's one thing that I've got to get Helene back because I, I certainly didn't expect Queenscliff uh, to beat you long in this front. But don't worry, we're going to be coming a very close second after today. <laughs> to Roger Grant, uh, our magnificent CEO of Tourism, I've worked very closely with Roger. And I know as a man that shares my passion uh, about the jobs in the region, and I'll, I'll, towards the end of uh, my chat today, uh, I will discuss how vital so many things about uh, tourism is in, in our region. You know, if you look overseas at places like similar places to the Geelong region, and they certainly don't have our beautiful uh, coastline such as we look out this window, uh, but in particular Glasgow, where uh, was predominantly a very big manufacturing city globally, and this is only one. There are many throughout America, many throughout Europe have turned now, the most popular source of employment is in tourism. Quite an extraordinary transition that uh, the knockers don't get, but I promise you, uh, as uh, I would like to see uh, more of uh, our great G21 region becoming more visionary about where the jobs of the future are going to come from. And being lived 25 years uh, around the world uh, and being a, a nomadic traveller and now coming home to my wonderful home of uh, Geelong and the G21 region, uh, never before have I had more passion because the people that sit in their houses or sit in their boroughs and have never gone around the world and realised what is happening, it's almost as if we've built the Great Wall of China, which is all coming this way, uh, around this beautiful region for so many years. And that's why so many years that we've banged on about Sleepy Hollow. And it's because we've built a wall up and have had no appreciation for the beauty of where we stand and look out that window of today. Build and they will come. Uh, and and uh, it is uh, absolutely so true. The natural environment is one of the key competitive advantages of Australia and in particular this region. And for tourism to provide economic growth and provide jobs, uh, it's critical that the growth is sustainable and environmentally sustainable. Uh, we can't kill the goose that laid the golden egg. Uh, now more than ever people are making conscious choices uh, about the experience and products they undertake while they're on holidays. And they are actively using the green credentials of businesses as part of making that uh, decision. And I think all of us in everyday life are making those decisions. We're prepared sometimes to pay more for our fruit and veg because it comes in a certain way. It might go off, uh, off quicker, but it's certainly sweeter to taste when you pick it off that tree. Uh, it's very similar to what we see here today. And recent surveys have shown this. 71% uh, of TripAdvisor members intend to make green choices a bigger part of their travel decisions. 93% uh, of Condé Nast Traveller readers believe tourism businesses should be responsible for protecting the environment. The tourism industry has had to adapt to sustainable practices in a way that we've never ever seen before. We're seeing more and more accommodation properties installing solar power. Uh, I did that within the last month. Um, the the hang-up uh, your towel cards in hotels are now uh, commonplace uh, around Australia. So that's why it's exciting to be here today, to see a company that has taken the idea and run with it, just like this mayor does. I have an idea and I have many a day. I can't run with them all because it's a difficult council to deal with at times that don't want to run with anything uh, other than out the back door when I come in. Uh, and to see a, a company that has taken this idea and, 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 and really uh, ha is starting to deliver. And um, the bongos are just not transport. Their design, their innovation uh, makes them a vis visitor experience which is unique and very much out of the box in its own right which is what this mayor particularly loves. Um, they will provide tourists with more options and more experience and easier transport, but not only tourists. Uh, and when I look at the vehicle, it is for the elderly, it's for people with disabilities, that we really should be 
uh, sending a message out with the NDIA and NDIS work cover coming to Geelong. We are going to be a capital uh, of insurance in Australia. Uh, we'll be globally looked at, not as if we're not now, with 79 million uh, people uh, logging onto Twitter uh, and 79 million impressions, I can say today, that we've had on that Christmas tree in the last two weeks. Talk about a tourism explosion in the city of Greater Geelong. It's been extraordinary. If we had had the bongos there in the last couple of weeks, a lot of licensees would have been making a tremendous amount of money and being leaner, greener and uh, extremely successful. Tourism co contributes um, over a billion dollars uh, to, to, our, uh, to our economy annually. Domestic tourism through the winter, and I'm talking about the city of Geelong, and I'm sure Queenscliff would have, would have uh, pumped off the back of that, but it's up 6.3% uh, since being elected mayor, and the international visitation is up 7.4%. Extraordinary figures in such a short space of time. Um, it, it provides 3,355 jobs, and I am sure that the next figures that Roger will be handing me uh, in the new year, that is certainly go up with a significant uh, percentage, which is really, really exciting. Not that it excites the Geelong advertiser, but it certainly excites this <laughs> mayor, but not much excites them. Um, what I will uh, finish off, cre creativity is thinking up new things. Innovation is doing new things. Giddy up, God bless you all, and congratulations to Bogo. I cannot wait to see them in the city of Greater Geelong soon, and certainly has my full, uh, full support. Uh, as I said earlier, I'm just very annoyed. I don't like coming second, uh, but I, I, I would love to see it, and I hope, uh, I hope that uh, councillors in the city of Greater Geelong uh, see the need and uh, the incredible usefulness. And I'm looking forward to Mick, actually, uh, uh, coming to council and posing that question. Uh, so that might uh, be a situation where the councillors might at some stage, or some of them particularly, wake up and smell the coffee, as I am right now. Thank you very much.